Picketers were hitting the streets in downtown Bracebridge this past Friday as strike action from QP Local 997 kicked off in tandem with QP members across the province. The message was clear, being sent to MPP Graydon Smith as members continually passed his office holding various signs calling on the province to not only get back to the negotiating table with QP and offer a better deal, but also to repeal the proposed Bill 28, which would have forced these workers back to the job for the next four years and made strike action illegal. The protests continued throughout the weekend and into Monday until the Ford government offered to repeal Bill 28 if QP called off the strike action, allowing both sides to get back to the negotiating table. QP Local 997 President Bill Campbell says what happened next was an act of good faith. Starting tomorrow, um, QP education workers will go back to work, uh, to their regular shifts and their regular work. Uh, students will go back to school and uh, the collective bargaining process will resume um, to hopefully achieve a freely negotiated collective agreement. Campbell says while some reports may try to spin this as OQP admitting wrongdoing in the strike action, he sees it completely differently. It's pretty clear that the government um, uh, is is taking a step back and repealing their legislation and, uh, and uh, committing to go back to the bargaining table. I, I think that they were, um, I think they were frightened by the fact that, that, you know, the little guy has a lot of power when we band together. And and I, you know what, I I don't ever remember a government anywhere uh, uh, passing legislation and then within two days repealing it. I don't think it's ever happened before. As for what QP reps will be looking for when they get back to the negotiating table? They're fighting for better funding for the education system. Um, I mean, it's no secret we're looking for a, a decent raise that, that helps our members keep up with the rate of inflation. Um, but we're also seeking additional supports in the classroom, more money for EAs, more money for custodians and secretaries. Joining me now our MPP, Graydon Smith of Perry Sound Muskoka. Graydon, uh, thanks very much for taking the time today. My pleasure. Thanks, James. Graydon, uh, having an opportunity today to speak to you about the ongoing issues um, with negotiations with CUPE, with the government. Uh, we've seen some strike action happening over the past few days as well. Um, good news is it seems that Students are going to get to go back to school tomorrow, but I did want to still speak to you about what it has been happening behind the scenes uh, from your perspective as well, because I know some people have been calling on you to, to address the situation locally. So first of all, if you wanted to just speak to the situation and how you're viewing it locally. Yeah, well, first of all, James, I'd say uh, I'm very happy to see that students are going back to class tomorrow. And as a, a parent with uh, kids in school here in Muskoka, uh, it certainly impacted me as it has uh, other families uh, and, and most importantly, the kids. Uh, so I'm, I'm very pleased to see uh, that they'll be returning to school. Um, on, on a local level, obviously, there's been a, a lot of activity and a lot of people reaching out. Uh, and, you know, I, I appreciate that outreach that we've received from people. Um, that's all uh, information that you know, our staff at the local level try and catalog together and, um, and forward along to the, you know, the right ministry or, or minister, um, you know, whatever the, the subject. So this has uh, uh, been an opportunity where our staff have uh, been able to do that and, and play, you know, our, our local constituent role. Great. Uh, you know, I, I like to provide you an opportunity to address concerns from people. I've done it when you were mayor. I'm going to do it now while you're MPP. And a lot of the concerns were, why isn't Graydon speaking to us about this? Why, you know, why are we not hearing back from our local MPP? And especially one of the main criticisms was, why did Graydon vote in favor of this bill that would force teachers to go back to, or the educational assistants and uh, secretaries, custodians to go back to work, even though they wanted to strike? Just wanted to give you an opportunity to address that situation as well. Yeah, uh, well, listen, uh, to me, the most important thing was that, that kids stay in school. And a uh, union had signaled that they were uh, going to strike uh, last weekend. And the government, uh, which I'm a part of, uh, took measures to, to avert that. Um, that is the, the single most important thing, that after two and a half exceptional years, uh, our kids are able to learn uh, in a normalized environment. Uh, and of course, it takes uh, all the wonderful people that work in schools, including educational assistants and, uh, you know, everybody that, that pitches in uh, and teachers and all the way up and down the chain uh, to make that happen. But I think our kids deserve that. Uh, as far as, you know, what's gone on uh, over the weekend, 
uh, have been, you know, hearing, listening, uh, observing, uh, taking in all that that information uh, on, uh, you know, this issue. There are uh, many varied opinions on it, and that's what uh, an MPP does: is uh, take that uh, information in. And so, um, here we are on Monday. The premiers, uh, you know, made a significant uh, outreach uh, to the union. The unions responded. Uh, the thing that uh, we all uh, want to have, which is kids in school, is happening again. Uh, so I'm pleased with the, the situation that we're in now. Um, wish we hadn't had to go through uh, the other uh, mechanics of it, but um, you know we're here today with kids uh, back in school tomorrow, and that's a very very good thing. What of the concerns from people that you know the government was taking some very questionable routes, and I'm this is from the perspective of the criticisms, not my own words, but. Um, in terms of using this notwithstanding clause, uh, and in fact, the Prime Minister criticizing it as well. Um, again, from your perspective locally, how do you see that, um, that decision made by your leader to, to move forward with that? Uh, I see it as a move to keep kids in school, which is exactly what it was for all the reasons that you know, I articulated in, in my last answer. Uh, kids have been disproportionately affected uh, through what's gone on over the last couple of years. Uh, again, I've got that own measuring tool uh, in my own house, but in speaking with other families, I uh, certainly know that to be the case. And the focus all along has been to keep children in school. Um, and we were in a situation where the other side had said um, that they were going to strike. They had, they had made an ask, which was not considered a, a reasonable ask uh, in the context of, um, you know, what the... Uh, the, the government has to uh, look at um, in, in its entirety of, of labor function and, and, and different public sector unions. Uh, and so, you know, the government uh, took a step to keep kids in school. And, and uh, you know, again, kids are in school today and I'm very, uh, or will be tomorrow, and uh, very pleased to, to see that and negotiations will uh, resume. Uh, great. And finally, just, uh, you know, if people do have concerns and, and they want to speak to you about those concerns, what is the best way for them to reach out to you and, and, and have their worries heard about the situation? Yeah, so we've got a, a website with, with my information on it. If you look up Braden Smith MPP, that's going to show you the phone numbers for our uh, Bracebridge and Perry Sound offices. It's going to give you uh, an email. But the other thing to recognize is, um, you know, when, when issues uh, are of uh, some contention or at least generate a lot of opinion. Uh, we get a lot of emails and a lot of calls and uh, we only have uh, so many staff and so many people that are able to get back to people. So, uh, you know, I do what I can on an individual level, but uh, staff is also there to assist and appreciate people's patience uh, as we uh, you know, work through the number of contacts that come to our office uh, about a variety of things. And the other thing to keep in mind too is, in every MPP's office, there's a lot of other business going on that needs to go on. There are people that reach out that need, require assistance for all sorts of things, uh, and that business doesn't stop either. So really, you know, appreciate the patience of people uh, when they reach out to us, and we always do our very best to get back to folks. Uh, great. Before I let you go, just any final words to the uh, to the people that are constituents in your community that are educational assistants, all these people that fall under the the QP uh, strike right now. Well, I, I think I, I said it before, but I will reiterate it, James. Is that everyone that's involved in in educating children is is certainly uh, valued uh, and, and important. And again, I, I I say that through the lens of. Uh, having been a, a municipal leader for a long time, but more importantly, the, the lens of uh, being a parent. Uh, and, you know, there is a, a delineation between uh, workers and, and, and union leadership, and union leadership does what, what they do, which is try and negotiate deals. Um, but at the, the ground level here, uh, you know, in Perry Sound, Muskoka, I know that there's a, a ton of workers doing a great job every day. Um, certainly thank them for that. And, and it's not just myself that believes that. I know every single person in our government believes that. Braden Smith for uh, PP for Perry Sound, Muskoka. Thank you very much for taking the time responding to some of these concerns of locals. And uh, we appreciate the time that you've given today. It's been my pleasure. Thanks so much.